welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on this brand new Makeup Forever Ultra HD Matte Setting Powder. So I have a full face of makeup on and I'm going to be putting this on the face and seeing how this does for the entire day because it's not cheap. It's like 30 something dollars. So I'm going to be letting you guys know my full blown thoughts. But before we get started, I do quickly want to introduce myself. Hi, welcome. My name is Jessica, aka The Mexican Beauty. I make news all things beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. Please go ahead and subscribe. I would love for you to come and friend me here on YouTube because I wouldn't want you guys to miss my videos for the world. So now that we've done that introduction, let's go ahead and move right into the review and more test. So Makeup Forever just came out with new setting powders. They actually have different shades, which I think is really nice. Um, I did pick this up in the shade 30. I'm hoping the shade works for me because I think it should. Yeah, it should. Okay, so we're gonna be putting this to the test. It also does come with a little puff, which I appreciate. You guys know a lot of people like to apply their makeup with puffs, so I think these will be really great. I do quickly want to pull up the product on Sephora's app because I did purchase this from my local Sephora. They had it and I was like, I need to check this out ASAP. I just love trying the new new. You guys know that. So this does retail for $37 and there are six shades. I got Golden Neutral 3.0, which is for medium to tan skin tones with olive and golden undertones. This is a matte finish. It is waterproof. It's best for oily combination and normal skin. Obviously it's a loose powder formula. Um, it's supposed to be a setting powder that extends makeup wear for up to 24 hours with a matte shine free finish and diminishes the appearance of pores and imperfection. Um, so actually what I already went ahead and did was I did my full face of makeup. I use the products that I typically like to use. And I also did powder my under eyes because I just wanted to get that out of the way, do the whole look. Um, but, the way that we're gonna be able to tell if this really is a good product is by only doing half of the face. I'm gonna be doing this half of the face, powdering it up with the setting powder. This side, we're gonna leave it blank. We're not gonna apply any powder just so that we can compare and contrast the differences between both having it on and not having it on. I actually like that it comes with this other little guy so that it doesn't create a huge mess when you're applying it. I think this product should work. Um, I know some people use it to um, like apply some powder on their under eyes. For me, I like a brightening effect. So I like to always go for like banana powder. Um, they did have a banana color, I'm pretty sure, but it's lighter than this one. And honestly, for me personally, I'm not gonna be purchasing two powders. That's like 60 plus dollars that I just don't wanna spend on just powders when I know that there's some really affordable ones at the drugstore that I can easily use. So I just wanted to purchase the shade that I think I would be for all over my face, for all over setting. And typically for me, I don't like, I need more powder, this is not enough. For me, typically, I don't like to set my face with a like loose powder when it's like all set and done, when it's all finished, just because I get scared that product's gonna like fall onto my lashes, onto just like anywhere else where I don't need it. Um, so I like to use pressed powders when it comes to like setting or touching up through the day. I don't know why a lot of product won't come out, but this is as much as we have. So we're just gonna have to go with it. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking the puff that I have right here and I'm going to just begin taking that powder and just kind of powdering the face. And we're gonna just take it all over this side. If I feel like it's too much, then I will go in and use a brush, but I like to use the puff because I can really press the product into my face. Looks nice for sure. Gives a very matte like finish. I personally like to use a fluffy brush like this one right here. Something like this. This is the Morphe. Oof, it's already gone. Damn, that's how you know I've used this brush a lot because you can't even see the number. But I will try to link it down below um, and see if I can find it. So I'm just gonna be applying this powder all over this side of the face. And just seeing how that goes. It looks nice. It's not interfering with the rest of my makeup. I will have my makeup details listed down below in my description box. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. For foundation, I did use my favorite foundation from the drugstore and that is the Profusion Feel Good Skin. This is the long wearing skin perfecting foundation. It's one of my absolute favorites. 
So far, I'm not having any issues of it separating or looking cakey with the powder on top of it. I feel like it gives me a really perfected finish, which is definitely a good thing. You guys can see the difference already between having the powder on this side and not having anything on this side. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I also feel like this color in the shade 3.0 is really good for my complexion, overall complexion, I would say. Um, if I wanted to bake my under eyes, I probably wouldn't go in with that just because I feel like I personally like a more brightening effect, like a banana color, but that's fine because I have other drugstore powders that are good for that. Um, what I'm really gonna be putting to the test today is whether this does keep me oil-free and matte for a good amount of hours. There's so many powders at the drugstore that are so good that are so much more affordable so for me, when I try like high-end makeup nowadays, you really have to impress me for me to want to purchase you because there's so many options now. And I'm just like, I, I can try so many different options. This is a problem for me that I'm noticing that's kind of bugging me is that, I don't know if it's because the product is filled all the way to the top, which is definitely a good thing. It means that they're you know filling it all the way up and you're getting your money's worth, but barely any product comes out. So I just have to be mindful of that. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna be taking some of this powder if I can. It's just so hard. And I'm gonna kind of be cleaning up the edge of my blush. It's definitely a very precise um, powder because you guys can see I applied it right along my blush to kind of sharpen those edges. And it definitely gave me a clean, smooth application. It's not looking like it's gonna separate or really sink into those areas where I do have any dryness. It looked really nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that up a little bit, really sharpened up that blush and kind of snatched my face a little bit better, which is always a plus. Who doesn't love that? But I really like it. So there's different techniques that you can use to apply this powder. You don't have to use just the puff. If you feel most comfortable using the puff, definitely go for it. Um, you can use a little sponge like this. This is what I like to use for the under eyes. You can use a brush if you want more so of a lightweight application and you don't want too much powder on the face. This is a great alternative, especially like a bigger fluffy brush. Similar to this would be great to really dust away that powder. I would say if you want more so of a matte, matte effect, I would probably go in with um, the puff or a sponge to really press and absorb those oils. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly finish off my lip and then I'm gonna come back, let this kind of sink into the skin for a few minutes and give you guys my very first initial thoughts and first impressions on how the product is looking. So stay tuned before we begin our wear test. Okay guys, so I am back. I finished applying my lippies. I will have the lipsticks that I use down below. It's pretty much Kylie Cosmetics and a Wet Wild lip liner, but I will have it down below so you guys can check it out. But let's talk about this powder on this side, no powder on this side. So I actually really like the fact that this powder really did make my skin look really nice and perfected on this side. I feel like you can definitely tell it like smoothed it out. And if in case you're like, how I can't see anything, don't worry because I always do my in natural lighting clip where you can see super up close with the natural light, how this looks against each other. You can begin our wear test right now. It is 9.30 a.m. and I'm gonna be wearing this for the entire day. At the end of the day, I will show you guys how it looks after a long day of wear. And also show you guys how I would powder it if I wanted to keep wearing this makeup for the rest of the evening. So stay tuned if you want to see my final thoughts because I think this will be a really good, interesting review, especially if you do have oily skin, you are gonna want to stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is in natural lighting. This is the side with the powder on. Let's zoom in. This is the side with no powder on. Can you guys tell a difference? What are we thinking? let me know but i always like to bring you guys in close so you guys can see how it looks side by side okay guys so i am back right now it is 5 p.m and i'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts on the makeup forever ultra hd setting powder i'm like trying to figure out the name um but here it is so this is the side with the powder on that we started the day off with this is the side with no powder. I definitely do think there's a subtle difference between both sides. I do feel like this side looks a little tiny bit less radiant than this side. This side, you can obviously see a lot of the radiance. And also I feel like 
Some of the product came off on this side. I was wearing my mask. So what I wanna go ahead and do now is just touch up the face and kind of see what would happen if we do that. So here we go. We actually have more powder coming out this time, which is good because the first time we used it, not that much powder wanted to come out. So I'm gonna be using again, the little sponge that this came with. Press this on and kind of see how it does when I press it into the skin. So it definitely does mattify the face if we do wanna go ahead and just kind of lock it into place for a little bit longer of wear time. So you guys can see the difference when you do that. Definitely a big difference. I would say that if you're around my complexion or tanner, this shade three will work great for you. If you are slightly lighter than I am, I would probably go in with the lighter shade, which I think is shade two. Um, but so far, so good. I just want to show you guys what it would look like if you were to retouch it compared to not having anything on the face. So definitely a difference again. Personally for me, I feel like I, to retouch, like to use press powder. I always use press powder to retouch. I actually don't have the one that I, because I carry a little makeup bag with me at all times um, in my purse. And I always have my NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop press powder because I use that to retouch. I feel like this for retouching is great, but the problem is that like nobody really would want to put this in their purse. At least I wouldn't because it's big. And second of all, I feel like this can get messy very easily because it's loose powder. I feel like for me, I would get more use out of using this right after I do apply my foundation and I kind of want to set everything into place and then go in and work around it. Um, but I wouldn't use this to retouch through the day because I just feel like for that, I really do love a pressed powder. I do feel like the powder is very, very fine. So it easily melts right into the skin. You can easily blend it, whether it's with a sponge or whether it's with a brush. Um, do I think it's gonna keep you completely matte by the end of the day if you do have oily skin like myself? No, I think you will have to retouch like I did, but you can definitely see the difference versus not applying anything on. I do feel like for me personally, there's great alternatives at the drugstore if you don't have the money to spend on this one. I would recommend the Palladio rice powder that I've mentioned before. This stuff is really good from Sally Beauty for $6, $5, $6, one of those two. And then also the NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop, Won't Stop press powder for on the go. I've already hit pan and I've had it for like two or so months. So definitely recommend those alternatives. If you are looking for something more inexpensive, I will have them listed down below in my description box. You guys can check them out. Um, but if you are looking for a high end, I feel like this is really nice. I would say this is more so for like normal to combination skin that are looking for that very nice matte effect. I think that if you're somebody that has a very oily skin, you will have to retouch the day. I also like the fact that they do have this little guy in here as well. I think that that kind of adds value to the price being $38. It kind of justifies it a little bit more for me. And here you do get 0.4 ounces and they do really fill it up to the top. Cause sometimes some brands will fill it up like halfway. No, 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 this is filled up all the way. So yeah, those are pretty much all my thoughts. Let me know down below what you're thinking. I know I look super crazy right now with half my face with powder and the other half without powder, but I just really wanted to share with you guys what this was looking like. So if you guys did enjoy watching this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know to continue doing my reviews here on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed and stay beautiful. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.